<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Looks so crazy. Hello. Oh my God, it looks so crazy. I don't even care. What day is it? It's Friday. Happy Friday. If you are alive, comment hashtag live. If you're watching the replay, comment hashtag man's voice because that's what I have. I'm so terribly sorry. Oh, low connection. Okay. I think we're okay. You guys, I know it looks so crazy. And it's Friday night and everybody's out probably like doing all of the fun things. But I'm definitely ill, no big deal. And just had a shower and just was thinking about, I went live in my team page today. Um, just kind of like sharing, just catching myself, like not hustling and not working hard and wanting to like hold, hold myself accountable. And I was thinking about, you know, why people do that. Like, hello, you guys. Hi, happy Friday night. Just sitting here in my pajamas. No big deal. Brooke, yes. Oh my gosh, I'm alive. I barely am. And I don't even want to be on here right now, but I just feel called to share this. I literally was just in the shower, like trying to breathe and like breathing in my eucalyptus and trying to like make myself feel better because I've realized since I've been off my greens for almost a month, this is probably why I'm sick. But Anyway, I was thinking about why we don't, you know, why did I stop hustling? Like, why did I stop pushing? You know, when I, when I push myself to do things, when I get outside my comfort zone, when I actually do income producing activities, I have things happen. You know, I have amazing stuff like happen. And I think like, why do we stop doing that? Like, why do we not go after our dream life all the time? And I'm like, think it's because we get in our heads like we get lazy on ourselves I think all the time every time I get out of the shower I need to put on my lotion but it's like it seems like such a daunting task to put lotion on my body and like actually care for myself make the bed in the morning like you can overthink it and, and it can seem like this huge thing like oh I have to make my bed in the morning but it's like we <clears throat> we have to put our priorities out there. Is it a priority to take care of ourselves? Is it a priority for our home to look nice? Whatever. Is it a priority to make money? You know, be with our kids. What are our priorities? And just stop getting lazy on ourselves. I stopped putting lotion on myself because I thought it just took too long and, and it was too whatever. And I stopped making the bed because it was like, I just, or cleaning my room. I'll never forget being a little kid and thinking cleaning my room was the most daunting task ever. And I didn't want to do it. So I would just put it off. I would get lazy on, on myself. And we do that with our dreams our goals we think they're too big they're too hard um you know it's too daunting of a task to to think that our dream life would ever come true so we just stop pushing to, for that we just give up we go to our nine to five comfort zone we give up on our personal goals or, or weight loss or, or whatever whatever it is you know that it could be in your job in your career in your personal life in your family in your income I don't know but I know for myself, I just, that kind of like connected the dots for me. We just get late. We simply get lazy on ourselves and we don't push ourselves. We get in our comfort zones. We get in our routines and, you know, pushing for a, a life that we thought we wanted just seems hard. And so we just get lazy and we give up. And I just want to encourage you today or tonight or wherever you are, wherever you're seeing this, don't get lazy on yourself. Stop getting lazy on yourself. Stop getting lazy on your dream life. Stop getting lazy on your goals. Don't, don't do that because life's going to happen whether you're pushing or not. And I just encourage you so much to keep pushing so that even though life happened, you're still able to have that, reach that goal, have that life, live that dream, whatever that is. Hi, Carissa. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to hug you. I'm so excited to see you. I'm just trying to heal and get better. And I was just in the shower thinking about goals. <laughs> Why? Oh my gosh. Like seriously, entrepreneur in my soul. Um, but I just wanted to encourage you guys tonight and just share that because I know it meant a lot to me. And I was just talking to the Lord and praying and trying to breathe in the shower. And I thought... Why did I ever stop pushing? Like, you know, I've never had a bigger why than I do now. And I wish I would have been pushing. Why did I stop pushing? And it's just because we truly do get lazy. We, we lose sight of the end goal. We lose sight of our why. We forget what even motivated us to begin that goal or, you know, 
have that dream and we get lazy on ourselves. So I just want to encourage you this Friday night while I'm sick and in my pajamas, no big deal, to not get lazy. Stop getting lazy on yourself You, you're because you're worthy. You're worthy of that dream life. It's It's not as hard as you think. If you just put your energy and efforts toward that, your focus toward that, you can have that life. You can live that dream. But, you know, instead of making excuses and hiding behind that, life's always going to happen. You've just got to push through and do the best with what you have and what you've been given. Hi, Amy. Oh, my gosh. Hello, you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful Friday night. I don't even know if that makes sense because I'm on so much cough medicine and all the things. Hot toddies for days. If you guys have seen my stories, all of you have been messaging me for my recipe and it's so simple, but it really has helped. And Chris is such an amazing man and has like taken care of me and cleaned this house today. But anyway, um, I'm just so excited. I just wanted to share that with you guys tonight. I hope you're having a fun Friday night. Unlike us in the sick zone. I can't wait to see you either. I'm so excited. I can't wait to hug and take pictures with everybody and take all the selfies. I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for all the prayers too, by the way. I'm I'm just claiming this is the last time I'm going to be sick. So let's all claim and believe together. Love you guys. Bye.